Greetings, exiles. Welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Bullshifter. These are five things that you need to know about remove only stash space and how to best utilize it. Now, for those of you who have played through a few leagues, you've probably grown pretty accustomed to the typical league end. You go through the league end, you get your remove only stash, you go ahead, you merge it into your normal stash, and you move on with your day. What if I told you that this may not be the best utilization of the remove only stash? And for people like me who have been, um, we'll say, procrastinator. Yeah, we'll just go with procrastinator. Um, having all these remove only tabs left over may not necessarily be the worst thing in the world. As a matter of fact, it may actually be a very good way to utilize some extra storage. We will get into that shortly after we go over five basics that you need to know before we get into the advanced steps. First off, how do you get a remove only stash tab? For those of you who played leagues, you know the answer to this question, but for those of you who may not be familiar, every time a league ends and your character is transferred over to standard league, your inventory with that character goes with it. However, it does not turn into a normal stash tab. It turns into a remove only stash tab. That is the only way to obtain these stash tabs. That goes directly into the next thing that you need to know, which is the fact that these are cloned, essentially. Your character gets moved over, the stash tabs get moved over, and they function exactly the same way that your normal stash tabs would have worked in the league. So, for example, if I have a premium stash tab from the shop that I can mark items as public and sell them in the store, I can also do that with the remove-only stash tab. If I have, say, a currency stash tab, my remove only currency stash tab that was a normal stash tab in league will also transfer as a currency stash tab. It will, the only difference will be the fact that it'll say remove only. Other than that, functionality works 100% the same. This is key to remember. The next thing that you need to know is the fact that just like every other stash tab in the game, they can be organized into folders. And if you have premium stash tabs, you can rename them. So they'll say something other than this number before remove only. So you can actually categorize your stash tabs. You can color coordinate them. This is all, of course, if they're premium stash tabs before the cloning. And you can essentially organize these so they don't look like an eyesore while actually keeping all of them. The next thing you do need to know, which is one of the few downsides to all of this, is even though it says they're only remove only, you also can't organize these. So you cannot pick up an item and move it around inside of your inventory like you normally could with a normal stash tab. If you attempt to move the item, it will make you take it out and you will have to put it in a non-remove only stash tab. So one of your base stash tabs. The last thing to know, and this is accurate at least at the during the filming of this video, it may change in the future, which is why we do need to take a few precautions in this strategy. These don't expire. Uh, I have had a few remove only tabs that I have saved over from all the way back during Legion League um, and uh, maybe not, yes, Legion, Blight. There's a couple of much older leagues that I still have these remove only tabs from, which confirms in my mind, at least at this point, that these don't expire over any time. Essentially, they're intended to move with you after the league ends to allow you to transfer items. However, since they function exactly the same except for the remove only feature, you're essentially being given free stash space. You can go ahead and organize all of these into folders and just hold on to them indefinitely. If you have premium stash tabs and items that you wanted to sell during the league, you can still keep them in that remove only tab, not move them over to your general inventory so you're not still using your original stash space and still sell them on the auction block. So you're essentially being given all of these free stash tabs towards the end of the league that you can sell a bunch of extra items on, which is how our strategy is essentially going to work. Instead of essentially waiting for the end of the league, having them all come over, transferring your items into your normal stash, organize everything before the league ends. Make sure that any items that you want to sell on the block are actually organized into the same tab since you won't be able to move them out. Now, worst case scenario, you forget a couple items in there. You know, you have a stash tab like this where you just have some random miscellaneous items that you may have put in there that you forgot. You can still remove those and bring those into your normal. 
inventory. It's not the end of the world if you're going to waste a couple of spaces, but the idea here is to get it as organized as possible so that you're utilizing as little of your own actual stash that you've had to pay for or just kind of manage over time to keep it functional and utilize this remove only stash as much as you possibly can because this is going to duplicate for you every single week. As far as we know at this point, there's no expiration. There is no cap for how many of these tabs you can have. And you can organize them all in nice folders. So that way it's not an eyesore and you're not having to shift through about 50 different tabs of storage space. You can organize them by league. You can organize them by what they are. So you have your actual items and gear in one. Um, maybe your gems in another, your currency in another. So this way you can actually utilize all of this extra space. Now... As a precaution, since we don't know what Grinding Gears games will do in the future, I would recommend any sort of super valuable items, just to play it safe, move them into your regular inventory. It's one thing if you lose a bunch of skill gems that you're just kind of trying to sell on the auction block and maybe you didn't know if they'd move anyways. It's a totally different thing if you lose five Exalted Orbs that you earn during the league. So your rare stuff, your super valuable stuff, move that on over. But other than that, utilize this to the greatest of your ability. Um, that's essentially going to conclude this video. Super happy to be back on YouTube. I've missed you guys a lot. Uh, took basically a year off to kind of uh, straighten some things out during the craziness the pandemic. I don't really want to get into talking about that. It's a part of the reason why I didn't really make any videos last year. It's just because we hear about it enough. It's time to, you know, when it comes to other forms of media like this, move on to something else and focus on this. So I do have a couple more Path of Exile videos coming out. I am working on a PlayStation 5 performance review as I was fortunate enough to find 73 Lucky Rabbit's feet so I could get a PlayStation 5. Um, so that will be coming in the near future as well as things that I would like to see changed from Path of Exile to Path of Exile 2 that I think could make it a much better and more streamlined game. Obviously, Elephant in the Room, everyone has heard about the Diablo 2 remake that has been confirmed, and yes, we will absolutely be covering Diablo 2 on the channel. I've been playing Diablo 3 again just out of pure excitement for the remaster of 2. Uh, in all reality, if you play Path of Exile, odds are at some point you probably played Diablo 2, and Diablo 2 is what made you want to play this game in the first place. So uh, hopefully you're all as excited for that as I am. Uh, I We'll probably be making a video covering some of the stuff that was talked about at BlizzCon for the uh, Diablo 2 remaster and uh, just really, really exciting stuff. So I look forward to talking about that more. Outside of that, obviously wanted to get a lot out in this video, so I kept the tutorial rather basic. But I do feel like this is very important information to utilize, especially if you don't have the money to just be throwing at stash tabs left and right. This will hopefully help you save some money in your wallet and also have a little bit more fun with Path of Exile. So, as always, guys, really appreciate you guys sticking around, watching the video. Um, again, apologize for the long hiatus. I can't promise that videos will be as frequent as they were when I first started the channel. However, um, they'll definitely be more frequent than, uh, you know, once every year or so. <laughs> so I uh, look forward to those other videos coming out soon. Um, I look forward to hearing from you guys in the comments section again. Please feel free to give the video a like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? Go ahead, hit that subscribe button. I will have more videos coming out in the near future, and you will not miss a thing as long as you are subscribed. So again, thank you guys for supporting the channel. Um, really can't thank you guys enough. It's awesome to still have all of you guys here, and I'm looking forward to 2021. It's going to be a great year for the channel, a great year for everyone in general, I hope, and uh, just putting a lot of uh, unfortunate circumstances and things that were out of our control behind us and moving on with life. So hope you've all been staying safe, happy, and healthy. And as always, may the RNG be with you.